So, this is a section on the latest in architecture, and um, I think I made this confession before in previous conferences that um, in my next life I think I might give architecture a try. I never really considered it seriously. I thought you needed graphic skills for it. I didn't understand that sometimes the verbal skills are almost as good. Uh, but I've always been fascinated by design and the blending of design with the technology and the science that goes into construction. I always thought of it as sort of the sky above and the mud below, gratifying work. And so we're going to kick off the session with Juliette Jang. She's with a company that has built a 15-story project in south-central China in one week and a 30-story tower along with a helicopter pad in just 15 days. Imagine that. So this has earned the broad group the title of the fastest builders on the planet. Julia Chang is Senior Vice President of Broad, and I hope she will not only tell us how they do it, Juliet, but also give us a glimpse into the project that they say will eclipse the Burj Khalifa to become the world's tallest building by 10 meters. 220 stories will be erected in an astonishing 80 days. This is Juliet Chang. Thank you, thank you. Okay, morning. Yeah, I would like to present the video, 30-story hotel we built in 15 days. Some of you may have watched it on the YouTube, okay? Thank you, thank you. Okay, this building was built by Broad Group. Okay, Broad Group was set up with 3,000 US dollars 25 years ago. Uh, my chairman, he's one of the richest men in China now. So we built this kind of buildings, and I want to share more about this. Okay, so yeah, the the case study, okay? It's a 17,000 square meter building. Uh, conventionally, people need to have air conditioning like 2.3 megawatts for the air conditioning. What we are using now is only 233 kilowatts for the air conditioning. Why? And we have many other measures, okay? So I want to show you, uh, actually, we have the thermal insulation for the wall by 15 centimeter. We have triple pane yeah, windows, okay? And also we have uh, external solar shading. We have fresh air machine to make the building. We know that conventionally people have 30% fresh air, 70% all circulating air. So that's why if I got a cold, you may, I may pass that to you. But for all our sustainable buildings, 100% fresh air all the time. So free from sick building syndrome, okay? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and we also, so we have many other measures. Actually on the website, we have already put all this, okay? Like our LED lighting, the lift can uh, generate power automatically. You know, we use that kind of lift. So that's why for this building, we 
we cut CO2 emissions by 2,000 tons. According to the statistics, each mature tree can absorb 18.3 kg CO2 per year. So with the CO2 cut, it equals 110,000 tree planting each year. That's the environmental contribution, okay? And also the air quality. So talking about air quality, 60%, uh, according to World Health Organization, 68% of human diseases are related to air pollution. In China, very serious, okay? So we have already solved this issue with our buildings. The air is like the operation room air because we have our own products to, to find a solution to this, okay? So, and also this kind of building, we did the earthquake testing in the second biggest testing platform in Asia, okay? Even during the magnitude nine earthquake, uh, then no collapse for this kind of building. And this is how the inside looks, okay? So from the manufacturing, we, we made 90% factory made, okay? And then uh, we have installation on site, 15 days, one five days. And then we have all the wiring cables already uh, modular mounted. So that's why on site is like playing Legos, okay? <laughs> and interior decoration, and then that's the 30-story hotel. And actually on 15, um, May 15th, the United Nations had the workshops, okay? Sustainable building workshop on this building. 500 US dollars per square meter. It's too good to be true, okay? <laughs> but actually this is a true story. This 500 US dollars, including everything in the building, but not furniture, okay? Not movables already inside. Air conditioning, fresh air machine, lifts, LED lighting, everything. You just buy the furniture and move in, okay? That is the price. So, yeah, very good economics. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, I still have some minutes to talk about the Sky City. So, yeah, it's 10 meters higher than Birch Galifer, okay? Yima Properties, they are the developer for Birch Galifer. They visited us twice in our company. So this Sky City is not tended to be a landmark, not, okay? It's very practical, multi-use, and medium-priced, affordable, okay? And four months for fabrication in the workshop, three months on-site for installation, so seven months. Conventionally, people need to take seven years to finish this. And then Sky City strives for land conservation, so it covers 9,000 square meters, and the building area would be 1.05 million square meters, okay? And it's a, well, you have everything from kindergarten, elementary school, high school, Fortune 500 company, vertical organic farms, parks, shopping malls, everything. You name it, we have it, okay? <laughs> we, we also have a driveway from the ground floor to 170s story, okay? So Sky City drives for transport. You know, uh, we want to cut the transportation. We don't want so many people to be a commuters every day, you know, waste your time on the way. So that's why this find a solution to that and also strives for energy conservation. We have on-site power, you see? We know that when, when the power generation is, you know, efficiency usually is 35%, but we have on-site power. We recycle the waste heat from power generation to make free cooling or free heating. So that's why the whole system efficiency becomes 90% plus. That is why we are picking up gold from the fire with our air conditioning, okay? So we developed this first one in the world in 1999, and it was installed at the integration test laboratory of the U.S. Department of Energy, DOE, okay? We, we are the leading player in this field 
for these products. Okay? So, and air, you know, air quality just now say free from sick building syndrome. So fresh air, 100% fresh air all the time. Okay, PM 2.5. And actually, China, it's really, you know, because of air pollution. So that's why health becomes a very serious problem. New York Times on November, and, you know, on November 6, 2011, and also December 5th, they talk about the air pollution in China, talk about PM 2.5. And actually, they mentioned the Chinese government. Uh, they do not care about this because broad gives them the solution. All the Chinese, you know, Zhongnanhai, Chinese White House, they're using broad air quality products, okay? So for this one, we have quality air there, okay? And also, the high quality, we, we talk about organic farm in this building, okay? So that's why we have all this. And also higher safety, not even claps you, you, during the magnitude 9 earthquake. So yeah, this is the, because construction used to be like a day laborers, they do it, you know, odd jobs, okay? But here all produced by professional workers, so it's different. So we uh, standardize the design, modular production, and also stringent this kind of management for the quality, and also uh, highly trained workers, okay? And also in this way, we have uh, eliminate on-site idleness, okay? And also eliminate uh, construction, this kind of material waste, you know? And, and also eradicate construction industry budget traps, okay? So, yeah, that's why we, our cost is 50% or to 67% lower than that of conventional one, okay? So it's all factory-made, you know? and the truck can truck to the site. And also the payback is very quick because of the economics, very good economics. Longer lifespan. So in China, every percent, one percent increase of the, uh, the people, you know, the kind of urbanization, that means 10 million people moved, would move to the city. So the housing, the environment, transportation, all the issues would come up. So this would be a solution to that. So yeah, I, I, I have a video I want to share with you. Yeah, please watch that. The Sky City. Someone is playing the video?
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, so I would like you know everybody to come to China. Welcome to our Sky City. Okay. So, yeah, in Canada, actually, we are also looking for partners who would use this kind of technology to build buildings, okay, cut CO2 emission, and also save money, you know, fast speed, quality is insured. So that's, you know, that's what we are doing. And actually, I want to say the company, for these 25 years, we focus upon two things. One is uh, conserve energy conservation, another is preserving life. Okay, we made our fortune from air conditioning. We say non-electric air conditioning because we do not use electricity as the energy input. We use natural gas, biogas, solar, or any waste heat from power generation. So we made this air conditioning, but we realized 40% of the world energy is consumed by buildings. 70% of the building energy consumed by air conditioning. So that's why we, we, we asked ourselves, why not make a building that would be energy efficient from the beginning? Then we shoot the trouble. So that's why, to some extent, we cut our own sales for air conditioning, right? <laughs> so like the 30-story hotel, we could use 2.3 megawatts air conditioning, could have more sales, you know, more sales. And then we only sell 233 kilowatts, okay? One-tenth, so, but better for mankind. So that is what we are doing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. May, may I ask you a few questions? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, In a building that size, uh -huh. how many people will live there? More than 30,000 people can be accommodated. Full-time residents of this building? Uh -huh, yes. There will be apartments. And Apartment, hotel, everything. Right. School, School, hospital, hospital parks. So you will never have to leave. <laughs> and will it acquire a kind of legal personality? Because this is the size of a small city, right? Uh -huh. So it becomes mm. a township all yeah, on yeah, its, its own. Yes. Will you be the mayor? Oh. <laughs> if you ask me to. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I think it's a massive challenge, and that's the last thing I want to get straight. Uh -huh. This building has not yet been built. It's going to start fabrication in September. This September. So, yeah, four months for fabrication, three months for uh, installation. So next March, it should be there. Okay. All right. Mm. Will you invite me to yes. the opening party? You would be our distinguished right. guest. Yes. I don't know whether you did this deliberately, but there is a famous book called 80 Days Around the World. Mm -hmm. So yes. this was a challenge of transportation. Mm -hmm. I guess it was Victorian era. <laughs> A massive prize was put up in the story, mm -hmm. and their challenge was to move around the world by any means of transport available in 80 days. You're going to build a city in mm -hmm. 80 days. Amazing. Thank Amazing. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Juliet. Thank you. Next time, I'll see you in China. Yeah, yeah, see All you right. in Sky City. <laughs>